They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But by golly, if this man isn't beautiful, then I don't know what is. What I do know is that Paul Gathian is a great name. What I'm trying to say, dear ladies and gentlemen, is that I have another confession to give you. I think it's happened again. I'm addicted to a new game. Die, 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 die. Here we go. All right. Oh. All right. All right, get off him. Come oh. on, jump. You can do it. Dragon's Dogma 2, a game where you play as the super epic chosen hero called the Arisen. 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 The Arisen. The Arisen. The Arisen? Now, which one of you was it? It's me, I have leprosy. Who got that name by getting fingered by a dragon so hard that it stole their heart. And now the fate of the world rests on their future 1v1 duel. The hole. Ah, the best place to start any, any journey. Inside a hole. If you think about it, all of us really start our journey inside a hole makes Paul Gathian very relatable. People's emotions on this game are about as mixed as these snacks I wish I was eating right now. Meaning you might have heard this game's got a few performance issues. Here it is. Oh my, that that's not a good sign. Which is definitely true. And you'd think that would affect my enjoyment of this game quite a lot. Pick up the boulder. Where is the boulder? But the thing is, hot damn, does this feel cool. really cool. I mean, there's just something special about how this game makes me feel. I mean, just look at that. That's pretty cool. Gravity means nothing to me. Because ah! the truth is, despite all its problems, I cannot help but have a great time whenever I play this game. You've actually been allowed to have fun in this game because they put microtransactions in a single player game, and that's not something that you should say. We're flying on my father's ways to places I have never been. There is so much I've Okay, please don't shoot me. Oh, bitch. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. You sure about the. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear, people's complaints about this game are completely valid. This game is not perfect and it has a lot of issues, but I'm still having a lot of fun. <laughs> Let her go. Because yeah, it's a complicated relationship. On one hand, you do have the crappy business model of putting microtransactions in a single player game, even though they are pretty optional. Honestly, you can get everything in the game without using them. So it makes it even more confusing that they put them in to begin with. And you also have the weird optimization issues where on consoles, it's running at 30 FPS and on PC, you see it's relying extremely heavily on your CPU. But on the other hand, you do have a really awesome game. You got goofy physics, really fluid combat, and it's all wrapped up in a little package that's built to create random encounters that'll make you feel epic, but also screw over your life. Excuse me. Oh my god. I think it's the quirky things I really like about this game. Like the fact that they use live action footage of meat getting cooked whenever you cook meat. Oh wow. That, uh, is just real. I've never seen such perfect cooking in meat. Or the absolutely incredible way everybody talks. Should aught befall the regent kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Come along, you feckless dullards. Mayhap you could make some elves then. Mayhaps to someone know where I might find some new digs for mine body. And mayhap one of my favorite things about this game are the followers you get to recruit, which are called pawns. You are looking so splendid. You and Paul Gathian are gonna take on the world. Now you might be saying, but pawns, doesn't that sound extremely degrading? And you would be correct again, but they also can look like handsome Squidward. <laughs> God, I love her. <laughs> She's adorable. Now I love these guys because they're all player made creations in this game's extensive character creator. So people come up with some crazy stuff and you can create the, the craziest parties. I'm attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by yourself. It's Shadowheart. I'm also God's favorite princess. Guys, you wouldn't believe what I just found. <laughs> this, this game's kind of nuts. Who knows where he's taking us. Anything's possible now. <laughs> this game's so wild. So yeah, pawns will lead you to objectives and they'll also help you in all your fights. All right, Auntie Agnes, this is how it's gonna be. You're gonna protect me from all the horrors of this world. How about it? I, I'll save you, give me a second. <laughs> well. <laughs> if you stay really still, it's possible that he won't notice you. They all have different personalities. Some of them are big time loot goblins. I shall take a look inside. Yeah, you do that. That that does belong to us. A treasure chest. 
Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Shadowheart, you, I don't think you understand. These are people's chests. I'm all about it, but they're not necessarily <laughs> treasure chests. But if there's one thing a pawn is really going to consider a treasure, it's going to be a ladder. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps <laughs> That's a great trick. There's a ladder here. After you are risen. No, there's not. Now, the reason pawns will guide you places is because there's no minimap GPS in this game. It kind of shuns fast travel. It sits it in a corner, throws a dunce cap on its head, and just says no. Because the open road is where this game thrives. That guy looks fun. What do you guys think? I'm gonna kill him. I'm dead. Ow. Alright, I'm getting concussed. Alright, I, I, need, I need assistance. You better not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that doesn't get old. Goodbye. Ow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> she hit me with some pocket sand. She's got death's grip on this staff. <laughs> Bye. But yeah, the roads are always dangerous. Uh, so there are ways to fast travel. If you're a coward. But if you need to, the only way to really fast travel is by using these limited resources called fairy stones. Though you can always hire and sleep on a cart. So how long do you guys think this is gonna take? Holy moly, this is slow. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have And I do not believe it looking at people when I talk to them. Oh. Hail, friend. Hail. Many thanks for aiding. And excuse me for burping right before that. You don't really need a lot of story info to have a good time here. The basics are pretty much dragon, bad. Monsters, also bad. What to do about them? Kill them. You look cool. Oh, you're talking to me. Nope, never mind. Uh, I've had too much caffeine today, and I'm maidenless. Who shot that, idiot? Oh, you. Don't worry, in the future you'll be much more accurate. Leave, maiden, or I will... Little dragon horror sat in a corner eating a crispy guy. He put in his thumb and pulled out a heart and said, What a good boy am I. Hey, you. Finally awake. Hey, you. Yeah. You want to see why this game is actually epic? All right, Anthony, that was a pretty good war cry. Don't mind me, just gonna plant this right in your bum. All right. Hemorrhoid incoming. Yeah, when it comes down to it, this game is definitely at its best when you're fighting these giant monsters in a Shadow of the Colossus type fight, climbing all over them, planting bombs on them, doing whatever you can to fight these dudes. It just, it just feels really epic. Die, 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 die. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. You seem I misjudged you. What was your original judgment that I wasn't absolutely insane? I think just seeing Auntie Agnes in the background really just makes my day every time it happens. Step away, Auntie. <laughs> oh no, are you okay? <laughs> I don't think she's okay. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> You know, there's a certain charm to this game's jank. <laughs> okay. Though I probably just like it because it means I get to see goofy stuff like this. Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Wow, his escape plan was absolutely flawless is all I'll say. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll lie for him. His face was about as cool as mine. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. I'm sure we'll squeeze through now. <laughs> I've learned recently you can just carry people forever. Take them to fights with you if you need some extra help. Go get them. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. Well, you'll be coming with me. Sorry, my bad. You got this. Go get them. I shan't forget this. Thank you. <laughs> Truly. No problem. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciated me throwing you at a dragon. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that, but go get him. Yeah. Yep. Bitch. Yeah. Get away. Go get him. You truly are formidable, Arisen. 
Thanks, Shadowheart. You know what else is truly formidable? The random encounters this game will throw at you. It's really good at making you not know if the next corner you turn is gonna turn into an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna do something that very well might be stupid. Let's see what's in the well of darkness. I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, this is all right. A lot's happening. I have to heal. Is this a friendly settlement? Nope. The has been poisoned. I have. I don't like that. Absolutely not. Goblins, master. Uh, we have bigger problems than goblins. Don't make me sleep. That would be really bad. Oh, son of a... Up, oh, we're flying. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Guys, all right, my pawns. I'll, I'll catch you later. Dude, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> My stamina is running out. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> My own bomb blew me up. But I didn't even set it off, it just had a timer. You see, it's moments like these that just scratch a niche that not many other games can for me. Like, where else are you just gonna randomly get picked up by a griffin and then just start flying across the sky like it's the never-ending story? And then just have to think, well, I'm screwed. We're nearly back. There's a griffin right there. Stop! Land a bomb on his back. Oh, good dear, panty felt. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye to the frame rate. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, that ain't good. So I guess a big reason the frame rate sucks so bad in the cities is because the NPCs eat up a giant chunk of your CPU, so everything just gets really wonky whenever you get in there. I'm quickly succumbing to the urge to kill all of these NPCs. Everybody's just adopting the mentality of, fine, I'll do it myself. Did you up the frame rate? Yes. What did it cost? The lives of every NPC. Hello? Oh, this is behind the bar. Sorry, pardon me. Excuse me. There we go. 2,000 gold to buy a round. What the heck are the prices here? Lady, you're making it really tempting to make everything perfectly balanced as all things should be. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just playing Mortal Kombat. Get over here! Ha! Get down here! Fatality. <laughs> you won't be watering those anymore. The different abilities you get to use in this game are so fun. Uh, one of my favorite classes is definitely the Mystic Spear Hand, which is this one right here. And you just get <laughs> this one move that I adore beyond anything else. I'm just going to let it play because it's awesome. This place offers a view of the sea. No, well, really. Hey, has there ever been a time in your life where you just don't know what to do? I don't know what to do. What should I do? I don't know what to do. 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 Oh my gosh, I know you don't know what to do. What to do? What to do? Oh my goodness. Something I found really funny was that early on in the game, <laughs> the main story had you break into the palace not once. Not twice, but a three times. We are looking dapper. We are ready. <laughs> Each time for various reasons, but it just made me laugh how many times we were able to get in and out. What are you doing in here? You can't see through walls. Are no you crazy? I mislike this. Well, I mislike it too. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Oh God. <laughs> Run, Paul Gathian. <laughs> well, well. Hello. <laughs> I, I didn't alert anyone, I promise. Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. Or Why anywhere else, probably. Here? It's a very unique face. Hello, I am I here to- I regret to inform you that there is no masquerade scheduled for today. Well, son of a gun, I dressed up like this for nothing. Man, I am Sonic the Hedgehog. There's something remarkably addicting about finding new ways to use different abilities that each class has. A lot of the footage you're seeing is back when I first started the game, so th this is a lot of the Thief class, but even still, it's a lot of fun. Jeez. 
Yeah, the tactic of just stabbing them 300 times. Wake up, Kanye. We got a city to burn. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a dragon. And it's also an idiot. So I guess the moral of this video is that uh, it's pretty fun, I guess. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the end of the world. <laughs> This is quite the opening fight to be using a vocation for the first time. <laughs> Jump on his butt. Plant this again. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Kanye's freaking dead. Oh, my goodness. My butt is clutched so hard. At least I... Oh, my gosh. I'm getting really lucky. <laughs> Yeehaw, Wrath of Cowboy. God. It's going down. This is it. Any magic, get out of my throat. Oh, right. Okay. To the ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. All right, fine. Like the video and help Auntie Agnes climb a ladder. Mm -hmm.